Hello there friends and welcome back to our little house on the mountain. Spring is just around the corner and we are already seeing all the little signs of the earth coming to life. The mornings and the evenings are still very cold but in the afternoon, you can feel spring's warmth in the sun. The birds have been busy singing their songs of spring, and the chickens have been busy laying eggs all day long. It's as if the wonder of creation happens overnight. I closed my eyes in the evening and woke up one morning to snowdrops and crocuses and little tiny lilies and daffodils bursting forth on the mountain. It is such a special time of year to witness the miracle of the earth coming to life and walking into this time of celebrating the biblical feasts and the resurrection of our Savior. I am always reminded that it is darkest before dawn and that just as the sun sets, it rises and just as the earth sleeps, it comes to life. In a few days, it will be just about four weeks since the passing of my little brother, and I wanted to thank all of you for your kind and beautiful messages and comments and your prayers, and for sharing bits and pieces of your own story and of your own heart. I did write a blog post on the website all about the passing of my little brother, 
and I also did a video in his honor for our ministry channel and I will link all of those things in the description box below if you want to check those out. And though it has been a time of grief and of sorrow, it has also been a time of rejoicing in the Lord. And as we approach spring, I am reminded every single day as I see the mountain coming alive, that even though the plants all through winter are resting beneath the ground, quiet and dormant, that every year, just as promised, those same plants come back to life. And I am comforted and I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present or things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And as I am here planning the spring garden, I wanted to thank you guys so much as always for coming back to our little house on the mountain. I will link the blog below and also the recipe of the gluten-free honey cornbread from this video. And of course, I wanted to thank our patient patrons over on Patreon for making this possible. We love you guys and God willing, I'll see you on the next one. I pray shalom on your home. Bye friends.